Hello guys. Uh, welcome back to the Bazooka only playthrough. Let's move on to Sim D9. No, Sim 3. Sim 3 uh, is, yeah. It's probably going to be another straightforward one. Oh, it's this one. Huh. I will need to maneuver around here. This might be a marginally interesting one. So in this playthrough, for now, I don't have a healer. I've gone everyone with the same setup. And we have absolutely no healing. I don't want him to counter-attack, but we're getting absolutely shitty accuracy otherwise. So I guess, uh, first time for everything, gotta get close to him. Still doing plenty of damage. Yeah, and they're not, they're not doing any damage whatsoever, so I guess it's fine. Let's just line everybody up here. Three hits. I want to go after that missile layer if I can. Oh well. Oh, that one actually hit. Thirty-nine percent for Bosch. I'll still take it. Once again, just just getting most of my damage while I splash. They're just hitting the ground and then uh, letting the splash damage do its work. something about this guy as well. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have had everyone in a straight line. Ah, it doesn't really matter. We, yeah, we have access to him. 34! Wow! Horrible accuracy. Still managed to hit somehow. But the bazookas in general do seem to be doing uh, more damage than the rifles. I believe both of them are pretty much the same range. Alright, let's start uh, moving everybody. This guy's only a melee unit. Might have slightly more HP. Where are you firing, you idiot? damage if he even if he dodges okay so far I'm pretty much relying on splash
45%. Are we getting uh, even worse accuracy because it's night? I guess the splash damage is meant as some kind of compensation. <laughs> Although the, it's like it's like the bazookas will miss very often, but uh, even when they do miss, at least you get some damage. Here. It's like it's like a little bit of insurance. I don't know what else to think about it. But I guess very soon I'm gonna get sick of uh, missing so often. But so far performance not too bad. Not too bad at all. I actually got a perfect shot to land. I guess there's one good thing about this. Using rifles, the shot would either hit or just completely miss. Here we are getting residual damage and uh, well so far I'm, I'm able to destroy enemy fonzors on the basis of that. But I guess once the fonzors start getting beefy, that strategy is no longer going to work, obviously. Will I need to start worrying about ammo? Uh oh, missile are activated. Let let's move right close to him. Because there's an obstruction in the way, we won't be able to uh, deal any damage to that missile layer. Oh, nice! Oh my god! <laughs> that is fantastic. I think that splash damage from the bazooka is growing on me. Flash damage on that guy will be very ineffective. This is called the fire armor. So let's see how much damage we can do on him. Shit, I've put everyone in front of everybody else. Holy shit! She still managed to hit? I guess that's what happens when you're dealing with uh, this kind of accuracy. You just, just take whatever you can get. <laughs> Game has taught me to appreciate this. 
Alright, which way shall I go? These guys are still very far away. So let's go towards this side. We'll intercept them from here. I guess even that even the actual damage of that splash damage is gonna keep increasing once we chain up some skills. Is there a way from here? It's gotta be, right? Let's see if we can uh, get some line of sight. No, not yet. Okay. It's only turn 6. Hey, where are you going? Are they not in range? Where's the third one? Oh, I'm gonna have to chase these guys down. And, okay, there, there seems to be a barrier here. Got it, got it, got it. These guys are coming from here. What do I do about this one? Uh, I'll send a couple guys there. Why not? Thirty-four percent. Can't believe I'm taking these shots. So that splash damage is pretty reliable. So I guess it literally doesn't matter how much damage you're doing. I mean, uh, what the freaking accuracy is. Unless it's zero percent, of course. Really? Okay. And uh, I guess uh, you two guys can go and take on uh, that other one. I hate chasing after these guys. Especially once they've uh, separated out into groups. Sure, wow. Oh my god, that actually hit. Damn. Sadly, these guys have impact armor. But I think later on in the game, uh, enemies will have fierce armor. So, that's gonna be very beneficial for us if we actually do manage to hit. No splash damage? I wonder uh, what kind of terrain is required guarantee splash damage. Once again, no splash damage. Oh, I guess this, this time he evaded it. Oh, this guy's a melee unit. Crap. So I guess uh, we can attack him from one tile away. We don't have to retreat all the way back.
Eleven percent. What? Uh, line of sight issues. Okay, eleven percent it is. Am I going to get some splash damage at least? Miss. Wow. So I guess that's also dependent on accuracy. And no splash damage when they evade. Hey, how, how does he have good accuracy? It's not fair. Nothing will be, we'll need to keep in mind. But I guess that's just like the sniper challenge is uh, if we lose the off arm, then our accuracy is going to go down even further. Bottom. Let's hit him from behind. getting into it once again splash damage we have to pretty much rely on splash damage hmm you know this might just get tough at some uh, points so something to look forward to later guys